without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Mr. and Mrs. Alex and Michelle Ellis. Once again, Mr. and Mrs. Alex and Michelle Ellis. All right, now our lovely bride and groom are going to go into their very first dance as husband and wife. All right, so you guys can go ahead and find your seats if you'd like, or if you want to get a closer look over to our, <laughs> our dance floor, you can as well. All right, this is going to be their very first dance as husband and wife. I close my eyes and I smile knowing that everything is all right to the core so close that door is this happening my breath is on your hair i'm unaware that you open the blinds and let the city in god you held my hand and we stand just taking Everything And I knew it from the start So my arms are open wide Your head is on my stomach And we're, we're trying so hard not to fall asleep But here we are On this 18th floor balcony We're both flying So we talk about moms and dads, about family pasts, just getting to know where we came from. Our hearts were on display for all to see. I can't believe this is happening to me. And I raise my hand to show you that I was yours, that I was so yours for the taking. I'm so yours for the taking And that's when I felt the wind pick up I grabbed the rail while choking up These words to say And then you kissed me yeah. I knew it from the start My arms are open wide Your head is on my stomach And we're, we're trying so hard not to fall asleep But here we are On this 18th All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for him one more time, Mr. and Mrs. Alex and Michelle Ellis. <laughs> their very first dance as husband and wife. Father the bride, Steve Manning, up first. So Steve, if you could come on up, we got a mic stand here for you. everybody being here, as I'm sure Michelle does too, it, it was not an easy journey for everybody, and you risked your life to be here. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Let me start with a couple of introductions. I'm the father of the bride. If you don't know me, I'm Steve Manning. Um, I also I have a girlfriend here from Cher. She's here from Shanghai, China, so I'm really happy to be that. <laughs>
also want to introduce uh, uh, Alex's mom, Sarah. Where's uh, Sarah? There she is. Sarah. Grandfather and grandmother, Don and Rose, the, the best grandparents. Cool, okay, that was a lot. Um, modern families are complicated these days. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, and it's a pleasure getting, meeting you guys, meeting uh, Alex's family. I'm looking forward to getting to know you guys over the years and maybe visiting, so I think this is going to be something great. Michelle, wow, you look amazing today. <laughs> My daughter, my little girl, so grown up and so beautiful and so happy. Thank you, Alex, for that. <laughs> Michelle has always been the kind of person that would light up the room just by entering it with her beauty and her charm. But she was also just as likely to trip over herself as she entered. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> so she's just that way. The thing I admire most about Michelle is her courage and her resolve. I guess that's two things. She never let fear hold her back from anything. And she could, for example, she would fearlessly ride a piece of cardboard down the stairway right into a brick fireplace. You said yes. Not a thought. Right? And she would have the resolve to keep doing it until we stopped her. Right, John? Right? I don't like <laughs> so such has been the life of Michelle. She would keep challenging herself with incredibly difficult things and never get up in the pursuit of them. And Alex is just another example of that. Imagine Michelle thinking, like, how could I make falling in love uh, the most difficult possible? I know, I'm going to move to New York, then I'm going to meet a guy, a British guy, living in Australia. <laughs> then I'm going to move to Sydney and I'm going to plan a wedding in California. <laughs> But this is the part where I'm supposed to give some advice to the couple. So, Alex, I'm the last one to give any marital advice. <laughs> young man with his delightful British accent. Yeah. I couldn't understand a thing he said, but he said it so delightfully, I just liked him immediately. No, I'm just kidding. I, I really did like him immediately. And I wish you lived closer. I, I knew we would take some adventures outdoors together. Probably not clay shooting, but we'd we'll find some things to do. But, um, Michelle. There's so much I have to say to you, and we just do not have the time to say it. So instead, I'm going to read you a poem. Yes, it captures really what I, what I want to say to you. Um, it's actually a song written by a British rock star, so it makes, uh, makes it appropriate, Rod Stewart. It's about a father talking to his daughter, forever young. May the good Lord be with you down every road you roam, and may, the, may sunshine and happiness surround you when you're far from home. And may you grow to be proud, dignified, and true, and do unto others as you have done to you. Be courageous and be brave, and in my heart you'll always stay, forever young. May good fortune be with you, and may your guiding light be strong. Build a stairway to heaven with a prince or a vagabond. Glad you got a prince. <laughs> and may you never love in vain, and, may, and in my heart you will remain, forever young. And when you finally fly away, I'll be hoping that I've served you well. For all the wisdom of a lifetime, no one can ever tell. But whatever road you choose, I'm right behind you, win or lose. 
for every lap. So that leaves everybody. Let's raise the toast. It's a wonderful couple that we all love. Congratulations. All right, let's hear it one more time for our father of the ride, Steve. Let's hear it for Steve. All right, next up is our father of the groom, Peter Ellis. Let's hear it for Peter. My relationship to Alex, I am the father. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I stand here today a very proud man. Um, Alex, you've done me proud as a father, but I'm going to talk about Michelle first of all. Michelle, I've met you twice, and in that time, you've totally and utterly captivated me. You are a wonderfully alluring woman, a charming lady, and a great catch for Alex. But you and I have something special in common. Three things. But only your mother found out about a third of those recently, didn't she? And I'm not going to share that with anybody else. It's just between you and I. Moving on to Alex. <laughs> Alex, I, I mean, as a father, I've got to say I'm really, really proud. He invited me to his stag night. I mean, really. At the end of the day, how many fathers get invited to a stag night? I mean, that's rock and roll, isn't it? It really is. But, I couldn't do it, I'm too old. <laughs> but I'm greatly honoured to be asked. And uh, if you look at Alex, I'm going to talk about Alex as a little boy because he was the most angelic child. In fact, he auditioned for the Milky Bar Kid. <laughs> really, I'm not joking, he did. He auditioned, he was the most beautiful child. And next to him, he had Miles. Where's Miles? Miles here. Okay, was his best friend. The two of them together. Miles had these very special spectacles that made his eyes absolutely huge. <laughs> You've got them, mate. Yeah, I know you have, but, but basically, the two of them together were such a great couple of kids. They were fantastic. And you know, Miles said to me, and I, I'm going to share this with you because it's very, very special. Miles said to me when I joined the other night for the drink, this is up after the stag night, it's just a drink. Yeah. drink. Miles said to me, you know, Pete, and he called me Pete. You know, Pete, I regard you as a second father. And then he started to roll off all these things that we've done together with kids. Things he don't remember as a parent, but as a kid, it was really impressionable. So I'm so grateful to you for that, Miles. It was just a lovely thing to say. Thank you very much. When I came out here, Alex had a number of friends with him joining in for his stand up. And the really important thing here for you, Michelle, is this is a winner. Okay? This guy and his friends are highly motivated, focused individuals. I spent some time, I know mean, Mars, I know Tom, I'm not so familiar with the other guys I was speaking to that night. Probably had too much to drink by that time, but basically, um, these guys are highly motivated, focused individuals that are going to do you proud. Right? So it was a good choice. Alex is a brilliant choice. He's a lovely guy, but do not burn his tail, because he bites. <laughs> he really bites, trust me. So, <laughs> they say, they actually say, if you want to know what a wife is going to turn out like, you need to look at the mother. Yes. And look at that. So I'm the mock. 
Um, I, thought, I had two messages from Alex last night. Um, one said to me, I'm so excited to marry her mum. And the other one said, Mum, I'm so happy. <laughs> that, is, that is so lovely. But in the, this is a really weird time for everybody. And I've never experienced anything so strange as what's going on outside. And people not wanting to share, not wanting to kiss. So I'm not going to mention the C word. <laughs> <laughs> C is for commitment. <laughs> Alice, always be committed to your wife. Use your strength to shield her, but never overwhelm her. Protect her and give her space to grow. Today I, th I would think you will all agree she is so beautiful. Mm. Beauty will continue. Let it grow, Alice. She will continue to blossom year after year, like a good wine. Don't always try and win an argument because you might lose the war. So see, now if I've got O. O for optimism. Stay optimistic. There are bad days, and there are good days, always around the corner. This too shall pass. Make your home a safe place of safety, a place to shut away the rest of the world, a place to recharge and rebuild. One person said that everyone should have three marriages. <laughs> but they could be with the same person. <laughs> You've got the falling in love, then the children, and then you fall back in love again. So we've got the C, we've got the O, now we've got the V. <laughs> Validation. Value your wife as you would the most treasured possession. I. <laughs> We've got C O V I. <laughs> I is no more. We now have we. There is no room for I. And then we have D. <laughs> C O V I D. dedicated your lives to each other. And I pray to God that your marriage will be blessed. And then we have 19. Children. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that 19 children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit much. I tried to get there but I didn't make it. <laughs> um, so you met in 2019. Oh, oh, no, we got engaged, sorry, in 2019. So your relationship started in 2019, but we weren't mentioned the C word. Alright, <laughs> oh, right, guys, can I give one more round of applause for Stephen Peter as well? Thank you guys for your speeches. Alright, this time we're going to start our dinner service. We do have a couple speeches a little later on, but for now, sit back, relax. But before you do, can you hear it one more time for Alex and Michelle Ellis? Congratulations, guys! Enjoy your dinner. You may be far away, but you think you're the same. Oh, I close my eyes and I picture us together. So as most of you know, I'm Alex's younger brother. I know it isn't usual etiquette for your younger brother to get asked if he's man, so it came as a genuine surprise to me when Alex asked. Um, just earlier, whilst we were downstairs getting ready, 
putting on our suits, and whilst pictures were being taken, I came to realise how much of a privilege it actually is. As brothers, we have been through everything together, ups and downs, laughs and frowns, and grown with each other into the men that we are today. Al adopted the role of an older brother extremely well, and whilst we were growing up, I spent a lot of my childhood following him and his friends around. <laughs> Wishing that I was part of the group. Um, and it's funny how life works, as that trip to Mexico is affirmed for me now that it actually was. <laughs> Believe you, mate. Um, <laughs> As far, as far back as I can always remember, I've, I've always looked up to Alex um, in every literal way, and then I got a bit taller. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes aside, Alex is my brother, but he's always been my best friend. Although we spend years apart nowadays, there is no better feeling than being reunited after so long and just, taking, and just talking with him for a few hours, telling each other stories, laughing ridiculously at each other. Um, catching up and just appreciating one another's company as we do. <laughs> now, in certain respects, will be the moment I have to say goodbye to him and let him move on in his own right and in a new life to set new foundations. Um, so it's moments like this here today um, that we're both going to treasure and remember together as they since grown to become so special. Um, with that in mind, I want to thank everyone who's taken the time to travel here from wherever they are in the world, especially under the circumstances. Um, I know it will mean so much to the bride and groom that you're, to have you all here, and the effort you've put in will no doubt be rewarded by the solidarity between the two families that this marriage hopefully will bring. Matter most, and a new side of the family full of way better looking people than mine. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, it comes as no, no surprise that Alex wanted to tie the knot quickly. <laughs> <laughs> After all, we can see she's way out of your league. finally met his match was when we were out for dinner uh, one evening and all playing cards and it became apparent very quickly that Michelle was far more competitive than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> that's saying something. Um, but also she has a unique ability to dis disarm Alex and keep him on his toes, something which I haven't seen anyone before do and will undoubtedly ensure a happy and prosperous marriage. Um, so thank you to all the bridesmaids and everyone else uh, for their help in putting this together. Um, I thought we'd keep this brief as we all had precious time to get to know each other and drink your owners and laugh together. <laughs> <laughs> and with that in mind, I would like to raise a toast to the bride and groom. Let's hear for Cameron one more time, our best man tonight. All right, next up we have our basement of honor and our sister of bride. Let's hear for Christy. Let's give her a round of applause. privilege uh, to be Michelle's maid of honor and her big sister. Uh, tonight I want to share with you all my incredibly deep love and respect for this spectacular woman and this wonderful man I'm so happy to call my brother-in-law. Uh, I'll get to you in a minute. I first want to let you all in on what Michelle truly means to me and that of course starts with the movie Frozen. <laughs> uh, I often joke that we are the sisters in Frozen. I'm Elsa, colder, controlling, distant. Uh, Michelle, uh, and optimistic and funny and kind and a total plus. <laughs> and I know it's a cartoon movie for kids, but it, that intense and loving bond with, between sisters is what we truly have, and I'm so grateful for that. Um, and like Anna, Michelle is someone that everybody loves. I honestly don't think I've met anybody who didn't like my sister, and if they did, there was something wrong with them. <laughs> so she exudes this beautiful, pure energy that everyone's attracted to. When I walk down the street in New York, no one talks to me. <laughs> but, when I walk down the street with my sister, everyone suddenly needs to know the time. They need directions. It's like she has a resting nice person face. <laughs> She's also hilarious. If you've ever heard me say anything 
funny like that. I'm literally just repeating what she has said. <laughs> storyteller. She has such a unique way of seeing the world. Uh, the light and the dark, the relationships, good and bad, and the humor in the most mundane of tasks. Please just read her blog. She's incredibly funny. She's going to make applying for a job and adventure, so thank you for posting that. <laughs> um, but lest you think my sister is all goodness and innocence, we've definitely had our share of adventures. There's this one time we got picked up by the Amtrak TSA because we split a bottle of whiskey, left luggage, and they thought she was a terrorist. <laughs> a haunted bed and breakfast in Nova Scotia. We couldn't sleep because of the snoring hell's angels we had to share a bathroom with. <laughs> there was a time in Dubai where we got tapped by Rihanna's very hot boyfriend to save two women from the Dubai police. These are all very true stories. And we have a thousand stories like this because they always happen when I'm with Michelle. <laughs> and she makes life brighter and more exciting even though sometimes I question her decisions. <laughs> Which brings me to Alex. <laughs> See. Less than a week later, she decided to go on a three and a half week road trip around Australia with him. We called him Hans of the Southern Isles from the movie Frozen because, like Anna, she jumped head first into an adventure with a strange man. I was terrified. Is he an axe murderer? Is he boring or worse, a Republican? <laughs> From the first time I met him, two things became instantly clear. First, he had real things to say. He wasn't afraid to go deep, and he got to know me and my husband, and secondly, he loved my sister. When Michelle and I have been dating for only three months, we did this big Thanksgiving in New York and threw him to the wolves. It was my family, and Joe's family, and all of our friends, and everybody loved him because he's a really good man. Yeah, yeah. 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 each other forever. From the words of road trip, they seem like family to each other. And together they just make sense. Um, whether they're traveling the world or going for 6 a.m. workouts or just hanging at home with Oliver and their friend Molly. On behalf of the Marchese, Manning, and Summer's Tribe, we are thrilled to welcome Alex and Alice's to our family. Michelle and Alex, my vow to you is this. Joe and I will always be there for you, supporting you and holding you up and letting you shine. And Michelle, thank you for always being there for me in the good times and the times when I need you most. And whenever I need to feel safe, you are there for me. And when I need to feel home, I just look for you. I love you. I'm so impressed with you. I am so deeply, deeply happy for you. And congratulations. So let's raise a glass. And I wish you both all the adventures and all the love in the world, and congratulations. Uh, let's hear it for Christy one more time. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you, Christy. And thank you, Cameron, as well. Especially 
That table, that table. <laughs> <laughs> really makes our day to have you all here, and Michelle looks beautiful, and I'm very lucky. <laughs> My dream would just be if we all be quarantined here together forever. <laughs> <laughs>
mother of the groom, and of course our groom sharing a dance tonight. All right, guys, we cut the cake. We've said our speeches. We've ate our dinner, so now it's time to open up our dance floor here tonight. Let's have a good time tonight. You guys ready to party with Mr. and Mrs. Alex and Michelle? We got some musicians joining me.
on fire. We go boogie, 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 jiggle, wiggle, and dance <laughs> like a roof on fire. We go drink, drink, and take shots until we fall out like a roof on fire.